This is reality TV that works. Startups, made in Kansas City. Welcome to Beta Blocks. I'm Alex Altamaria, co-founder of the program, and we are currently 10 stories beneath downtown Kansas City in the downtown underground. We have one of the coolest spaces of any business incubator or seed accelerator in the country. Come on in, let me show you around. I am one of the investors, technically the first investor, but not the largest investor in this group of 13 people that run Betablox. My job, because I don't actually have a real job, is I get to hang out with entrepreneurs on a regular basis. I can't tell you how much I've learned, and now I get to impart that knowledge back onto these people. Wes and I have known each other since we were kids in elementary school. Uh, we began do doing companies and startups and things which meant we were mowing people's lawns, but we started that from a very young age and we've kept in touch since then. Wes has always been absolutely passionate about business. He loves Excel and spreadsheets and I'd always make fun of him for it. I'd always been passionate about brainstorming, creativity, science and technology. And so it was kind of a, a mutualistic thing where we balanced each other out with all our endeavors. Uh, we got back together after college and Wes said, I'm kind of working on this idea. It's like a, a heaven for entrepreneurs. And so we went to the whiteboard, we started brainstorming, and we created this model where we knew that we didn't want to offer another service that people paid for. If we really wanted to help entrepreneurs, we had to find a way to make a business model which can exist, which doesn't charge its main customers a dime for any of the things that it does. It took some brainstorming, uh, but here we are a couple years later. To be a successful entrepreneur, it's a very dynamic skill set. I really don't think you have to be an A plus at anything, but I think you have to be a B plus or an A minus at everything. You have to wear a million hats. Uh, people say that the entrepreneurs have a red line right here from how they, they keep spinning their hats around, keep putting on different hats. So we look at all sorts of things and honestly, uh, we use a lot of instinct to uh, determine what type of entrepreneurs come in here. We're looking for passionate, dynamic, outgoing individuals who like meeting new people, who want to work together in teams. There may be a team of co-founders and that's great, but in Betablox, you're going to have to interact with all the other nine teams in here to help solve each other's problems. You may think, what does my business have to do with uh, someone providing a service? A lot in terms of growth and problem solving and strategy, and even more in terms of what are the opportunities that are going to come from working together. You never know what's going to happen. People come in misinformed from time to time, so they think that we write checks, and we don't. We partner with people and help them achieve the metrics that are going to either get them investment dollars or create a situation where they don't need investment dollars. Uh, people come in thinking that we are just going to build websites. That's also not what we do here. We build a community of entrepreneurs, and so the people who will fit best into our own community of entrepreneurs are who we accept. You'd think that the idea would be, or the business itself would be, uh, what we think of as the most important, but honestly it's not. We use a metaphor uh, from Collins who basically says that you're supposed to invest in bus drivers, not buses. A uh, phenomenal bus driver will figure out how to get a bus across the country. If it's a bad bus, they'll pull over, they'll get the tires changed, they'll get a new paint job, but either way they'll get from point A to point B. Whereas I could give the best bus in the world to the worst bus driver in the world and they will find a way to quit, they will find a way to get in an accident, they will find a way to mess up that good bus. And so we don't care what the bus is, we care what the bus driver is. Because ultimately the idea is going to change so much that we want to make sure that the leader is who we're investing in. An entrepreneur who comes to us and is accepted into our program offers us 5% non-dilutable equity in their startups. And what that means is we are a co-founder with them. So we don't view ourselves as a partner, we view ourselves as a founder. We're there with them from the start on their board of directors, helping guide the way and giving them access to all these resources in our network, just like any other founder would bring to the table. Once we grow our investments to the point where there's an IPO or uh, acquisition, then that's when we'll get paid. We'll get 5% of that. But until then, we won't ever get a dime because we believe in them and we believe in the long term and we believe that Kansas City has enough incredible entrepreneurs that if we partner with all of them and help everybody, that we'll all be fine. Paul Santulli, I'm with Inventitas. Josh Nelson, I'm working on the Flood FM project with Paul and a handful of other people who are involved with Betablox. Lois Gillespie and my company is called Brain Kid. My name is Greg Ross and I have a product called Shambibi. My name is Nate and my company is called Flex Pro. 
My name is Kenneth Cleveland, and my startup is called GiveStrong.com. Lauren Kimball, and my company is called ModoFit.com. I'm Eric Miller, and this is Kevin Bradford, and we're working on a social networking app called Gossip. My name is Lucas Tickles. I'm the founding partner of Utility Contractors Exchange. My name is Dylan Dryling, and I'm the founder of TeenFit. Yeah, I'm, I'm 16 years old, and this is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> he had no other way to get here, yeah. so I'm here with him. I'm also a founder and CEO. <laughs> all, I mean not not 90%, not 99%, 100% of all net new jobs in the past half decade have come from small businesses and startup companies. And so in this economy when everyone's running around scared of where they're going to get their next paycheck or wondering how their son is going to get a job after they get out of college is really looking for startup companies and looking for new small businesses to fix the problem of the fact that there's not enough jobs. We always have looked up to these big businesses to fill that job, but they're not doing their part. And so people like Betablocks have to step up and start creating jobs using our own private dollars. Betablocks offers a variety of products and services that aren't actually unique, but it's why and how we offer them that's unique. We offer a six month structured program to our entrepreneurs where we take them through everything they need to know in order to get off the ground and get going or accelerate their revenue and their growth. Everyone talks about connecting everybody in town and about how this organization and that organization all needs to work together. But if that's true, then why is it not true that different startup communities can't work together? Why can't the Milwaukee mentors work with Kansas City investors and Kansas City investors work with St. Louis entrepreneurs? We're trying to replicate Betablocks in as many cities as we possibly can. That's our long-term vision. We want to make it possible that in a way that it never has been before to connect those three different types of people, the entrepreneurs, the mentors, and investors. So that way we can utilize the different startup communities to accomplish everything that this country needs, which is more jobs and more tax dollars. A co-production of KCPT and Outpost Worldwide at home in Kansas City. Production. Post. Content.